Hello friends and welcome to Techie Jack in Exchange Server 2016 training. In our previous video series, we have covered pre-request of Exchange Server. We installed Exchange Server 2016. We have created some mailboxes and we configured our recipient settings. So still our Exchange Server is not configured completely. In order to configure it completely, there are a lot of more other configuration we have to do in our Exchange Server. So in this module, we will be looking at the Client Access Services. We will see what all options we have to configure Client Access and what they do. If you look on this slide, we have the following option to configure our Client Access Services. Uh, after you initially deploy a server that runs Exchange Server 2016, uh, there are several client access options that you should configure before you place the server in a production environment. You can configure the client access option from the Exchange Management Shell or by using the Exchange Admin Center. In the Exchange Admin Center, you can configure these following uh, option like virtual directory settings, certificates, mobile device settings, mail flow, anti-malware protection and Outlook Anywhere. So if you talk about the virtual directory settings, you use these settings to configure each of the virtual directories that host services in IIS. That means uh, like we have a web access like Outlook web access that is hosted in a IIS uh, on Exchange server. So for each virtual directory you can configure general settings and authentication option like you want to authenticate a user by a first name, last name or by the domain name and then username. You should configure the virtual directories by using exchange management tool rather than the IAS manager. And if you look on a certificates, uh, it is highly recommended that organization deploy the public or internally published certificate to exchange server and replace any self-signed certificates. The certificate pane in the exchange admin center allow you to manage certificates and create new certificate requests. Let's talk about the mobile device settings. Uh, we can configure uh, these device access rules and manage mobile devices in quarantine. You can also manage mobile devices and uh, mailbox policies like what kind of policies you want to make for the mobile devices you can do it with the mobile device settings and next is our mail flow the mail flow means the administrators can use this uh, in exchange admin center to manage the transport component like uh, which reside inside the client access server managing the transport component includes configuring the delivery reports, accepted domains and send and receive connectors. The anti-malware protection uh, Exchange Server 2016 includes malware filtering therefore the Exchange Admin Center allow you to configure the option for malware filtering as well. And if you look on the Outlook Anywhere option uh, you use uh, Outlook Anywhere, you can configure uh, option for external and internal host name and uh, authentication and this is not required if you are using uh, MAPI over HTTP. So guys follow the playlist and subscribe the channel for more advanced topics. Let's meet in the next video.